so happy to introduce you to Joy and Judy. I dare you to tell them apart. They are <laughs> identical twins. But this is Judy and this is Joy. Hi, Ian. I want to talk to you guys about, first of all, being identical twins, and, mm -hmm. and let's okay. set the scene here. Okay. Right. You grew up in Bridgeport, you're from Connecticut, identical twins. You grew up and you did a lot of TV, uh, cooking, you did all kinds of stuff. Yes. So let's, let's talk about what it's like to be identical twins. Take me back to your childhood. Let's start with you, Judy. Uh, being twins, like, uh, I mean, you, you don't know, know any different, that's, right? That's the first thing I was going to say. Yes, we don't know any different. We do have a younger sister. But it's was it's she a, tormented by you? No, I hope not. <laughs> I hope she doesn't feel I, that way. Yes, Joy's been saying that lately. Yeah, but I, what I, do you hope? What do you mean by torment? Where we were no. great big sisters. Well, I, I know you I, guys a little bit, and you talk over each other because what you've told me is that basically your DNA is pretty close. Yes, yes. I mean it's you're identical. You're we identical. Had it, we had it tested. tested. And yes. what do you mean you had it tested? We had it tested. Is mommy washing? If our mothers wa I didn't, watch, I didn't do it. Sorry, Don't worry mom. about it. Okay. <laughs> but the two of you grew up together as identical twins. Yes. You dress a lot alike now. Yes. Did you do that as kids? Uh, our mother did yeah. dress us alike. Yeah. Yes. Um, but we, when we went to middle school or high school. Yeah, I mean, when we're not together performing or on TV, we, we don't dress alike. But, um, right. We do. It's, yeah. it's so because I think it's creepy sometimes when you're older and you dress <laughs> like, is this creepy? Is this creepy? Dressing I know, alike. right? <laughs> so the two of you yeah. have, um, you have quite a following in the state of Connecticut. Mm -hmm. And we should say that yes. your mom in 1957 is a former Miss Connecticut. She is. So that's great. Yes. My point of having you gals on is that you started leading a life that was going, going, going. You're a grandmother, you're not yet. You both had kids, you both got married. Yes. yes. You started off on this career where you love to cook, you're Italian, you yes. do lots of stuff. Things right. are going, 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 going. You're identical. Mm -hmm. In 2012, you're told what? The three words no one wants to hear. You have cancer. What happens? Well, I was a year and a half late on my mammogram. So you, every year you go to get a mammogram, but this year you decided to wait I, or you were busy? Busy doing nothing. I mean, what was I doing, really? What's so important, if you think about it? Mm -hmm. So I, you're a year and a half late, yes. Judy, of yes. getting a mammogram. Yes. You're right. told you have stage two cancer. Yes. What happens? You're identical twins. You start feeling what? You're in shock. You do what? You start being the caretaker. It comes from nowhere and, sorry. <clears throat> I feel terrible that I did that to you. And I feel terrible that I did it to everyone in the family. But you didn't do anything. You, you chemo radiation, yes. right? Identical twins, and this is my point of, of having you guys on, yes. is to talk about what it is to have cancer and talk about what it is to be the caretaker mm -hmm. with identical twins. Has anybody asked you what it was like to be a caretaker? Um. You know, my mom, because she said, you know, Judy's suffering, but what about Joy? You know, because she's so close to Judy, and I was, you know, yeah, so devastated. Yeah, I was always like, me, 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 and I would, my girlfriends would come over and bring food and everything. What can we do for you? And I'm saying, please, don't do anything for me. Cook for Joy, because she's suffering. I want to hear from you what that's like. I'm sorry. Like. <coughs> no, not at all. Talk. But I think because you are so close in, in your DNA, you're the same person in many ways. Were you worried that you were gonna have? No, that wasn't my thought. And my thought was never that she was not gonna be okay. You knew I was gonna be okay. I, I, I knew she was gonna be okay. In my soul, I knew she was gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. um, I knew it was a bump in the road. I hated it. I hated it. I mean, there were times that I told her I didn't feel well. <clears throat> because I couldn't go sit in that chemo room one more minute. And watch her. Nope. Chemo radiation. Yes. What was that like? The whole thing is like... Um, surreal? Yes, surreal. It's, you know... Well, it's, the drug plays. Yeah, the drug, it's just really, you know, it's, it's kind of looking at the world outside in. Like, it's not you. Or, or something. I don't know. I can't. I you can't describe it. You, the two of you are used to completing each other's sentences. Is that what we're doing? But that's what you do. <laughs> okay, we, just we do. do. That. Yeah. Neither yeah. one of you had twins. No. No. Did you ever know identical twins? 
Not really. No. When we were growing up, no. So they weren't that common. No, not right. at all. They are now. So the two of you, as mm -hmm. you go on this journey of breast cancer, and everything was great, it was great, it was great, and you're going, oh and you're, you're on TV, and you're doing this and that and mm -hmm. the yeah. other stuff, and you've got a career going, and right. your families are great. What did this tell you? How did that stop you in your tracks, and how did it change both of you, Judy? Well, you know, it sounds so cliche. A lot of people ask me that, but I really do stop and smell the roses now. I enjoy everything so much more. I mean, I really do. I mean, I wake up in the morning and my coffee is just so delicious. Mm -hmm. Appreciate or, the small things. I, I really do. Yeah. I really do. And how has it changed you? Um, I enjoy those small things with her. I try to be more patient with her and every. <laughs> With her and everybody, um, you know, during that time that we had to step back because she, of course, lost her hair, um, I did keep up just, we didn't do any appearances. We only did one and it happened to be on Channel 8 in December and she had just lost her hair and put on a wig that she had never worn before and we did a Christmas show for you here in this kitchen and I was so... I cried for a whole week before we got here. You know, my, you didn't tell me that. I know, because my husband kept saying, what is wrong with you? And I said, but how strong is this woman who just lost her hair and she's going to go on TV and... In a wig I never and a wig tried she never on. Put, I don't know, I just <laughs> was... The whole ride was emotional. It was, it, it, we made it. You've changed your cooking a little bit. We have. And how, how did you grow up cooking? I mean, how did, how did this whole thing start? Um, oh, it, it's a good story. It is a good story. Uh, you know, we have a very large, loud Italian family, um, <laughs> although not my mother. My mother's very, very proper, and she just sits back and watches and, yeah, everybody, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, so we had grocery stores on both sides. So we were always, always had the best cuts of beef, the best produce, everything. So we had these wonderful meals. We all, you know, a great love of cooking. And a lot of women in the family. Right? Women dominated. dominated by women. So lots right. of pasta. Oh, lots yes. Of, yes. Did you make your own and lay it out in sheets like so many people do? No, no we so didn't. Much. No, and our grandmother didn't. No, no. But every Sunday, you know, with the big dinner, the sauce, the meatballs, the... Oh, bourgeois, yeah, after they right? closed the store, mm -hmm. then we all gathered mm -hmm. with whatever they brought home right. and cooked, mm -hmm. and it was wonderful. So that oh, kind of, was wonderful. you know, yeah. instilled the cooking, mm -hmm. and uh, we tried to, you know, take it as a business and it succeeded but then we hit a bump in the road mm -hmm. so the bump in the road has taught you what I mean you've changed your cooking up a little bit yes. healthier We're healthier. Healthier. A little bit healthier now right right we try to uh, we call it our traditional and the twist so we're trying to make all of those fabulous traditional dishes a little bit healthier right yeah just by changing a couple recipes at a time because you can't they want you to eat healthy during when, chemo during chemo right mm -hmm. when you get diagnosed it's kind of like being pregnant you can only give that stomach what it wants and it's not healthy it's not salads it's not juicing it certainly isn't greens right it's more I comfort wanted, i wanted pasta i wanted everything that my mother made me as a child right so i think i was feeding my soul but i needed to feed my body right so that's what we did we, we wrote a cookbook I'm going to ask you again what yeah. it is to be a caretaker because I'm trying to get to the core of what it's like to be I, you know, identical twins and um, watching her did go you through feel this. Feel like a caretaker? Not really, right? We had a lot of fun. No, but I felt better. No, I think um, some of my I don't I didn't feel that way. I didn't I didn't feel like a caretaker. I just you know also of course was devastated and was in this surreal mode. Mm -hmm. So I think I was just doing. I don't know where it came from. You were like a robot? I just got, just yeah, just like a robot doing. and just called her every day and get dressed and we'll do this. And that's what we did. Do you feel mm. like as the cooking twins, I'll call you for lack of a, a, a <laughs> better term, mm -hmm. going forward, mm -hmm. what do you plan to do, do you think? How do you plan to take the platform mm -hmm. of being a breast cancer survivor, and I don't know if you like that term or not. Absolutely, I'm All so right. proud. But I wear my scars proudly. Well, and good for you. <laughs> right? um, where do you plan to take this platform, do you think? Do mm -hmm. you know? It's starting to evolve, evolve quite on its faster. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we seem to be, again, you know, we are studying for our health and wellness, in, you know, cert certification, mm -hmm. and um, 
that helps. And we are creating a new cookbook, which will have all the nutritionals. So, so we, we are do, definitely going healthy. healthy. We do see ourselves moving into more healthy. And maybe more cooking demos. We're talking with many hospitals. Again, the new cookbook. Um, There's a new path, it seems. I it's think a new so, path. because as much as I want to run away from the cancer it's, and get back, it's pulling me back. It's pulling us back. And you're okay with that? I am. I, I asked her because I was like, if you don't want to do this, we don't have to do this. Have you never yeah. not supported each other? It's, I mean, I no, can't no. imagine that. No, no. Nope. And you're argue. two years older or you are? But two minutes. Two minutes, I mean. Two yes. years. <laughs> you're identical. <laughs> two minutes. I look two yeah. years older. <laughs> so two minutes older. What lessons have you learned with this journey so far? Well, definitely stop and smell the roses as she said just you know yes so many lessons i think you know first of all for breast cancer message and mm -hmm. lesson get your mammogram you know don't yes. be a year and a half don't late. be a year and a half late yes you know don't ignore the science of your whatever your body is telling you and if you can't do it for yourself do it for your children do it for your family because did you have any symptoms at all did you feel i anything? had a lump I that you found before you went in Yes, yes. You were afraid to go? No. Was that? No. Then what, why what? didn't you go? I don't know. I'm going. I'm going. You know, just like everybody says, I'm going. And, and But it would have saved you perhaps some radiation and some chemo you Definitely. That's my message. You right. cannot be late on your mammograms. It really does help it save take, lives. It takes you from the different stages because yes. the more... Maybe I didn't have to go through all that. Maybe I didn't have to put my family through all of that. Right. I'm not going to go back there because... No. Right. But I mean, you know, my message is to other women, please stay on top of your health. And you watching her go through this, you were never afraid that you as an identical twin might also have breast cancer? No. I didn't, just didn't have time to think about it. Um, no, because, no, 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 they say, you know, it's, I it, didn't. it can be lifestyle or stress or, mm -hmm. you know, different things like that. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm just not going to go there. Yeah, I don't think about think like myself. That. Right. So you know, it's five years from now. What are yeah. you doing? Do you know? <sighs> no, not the, exactly. The new cookbook comes out. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. Maybe something with the American Cancer Society. Love it. Love it. Love Would it. love to. I can, ready. I'm ready. You know what, Judy? I, I do. What? I do. I honestly... I, fee I see us standing in front of 5,000 women. I like that. Sharing our story. Hopefully they want to hear it. It's mm -hmm. our story. Right? And where does that story begin? Ugh. I, don't, uh, I don't know if it'll, I don't know, because we're kind of entertainers, so I don't know if it's going to begin the, dre the, you know, the dreaded and where day. Did probably not. Where did the entertainer thing come from? I don't know. If they, where, did, where did this come from? You knew you were identical twins. We're going to cook. We're going to go well, on local TV. Everybody tells us that we're entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> we're Silly, just being ourselves. Fun. You know. Yeah, this is a real downplay version of us, Ian. That, you know, this is, we're being, we're being Because very, they're getting to know you now. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Your husband said what to you? when you were diagnosed? Nothing. Ah, that's not it. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. No? Nothing. No. He um, didn't really play a big part in it. He was, um, he chose to just get up every day, go to work, come home, eat dinner, go right to bed. Like a six to six type of thing. 6 p.m., go to sleep, rise at six. So he was trying to cope? That was his Probably. coping skills. Right. Probably. So when, when Joy wasn't with me, my youngest son, um, left school to be by my side, left college to be by my side, mm -hmm. which I did not ask him to do, but, you know, he wanted to uh, watch me when I slept. That's so. rare that yeah. a child leaves college to yeah. take care of his mom. A boy, yeah. no less. Yeah. Great kid. Well, the two, who, they the, all helped me, all my children, right. in their own ways. Right. The two of you are blessed, and, and what I hope is that you use the platform that you've already built in cooking and being fun mm -hmm. and identical twins and take this and your message yes. to not be late on right. your mammograms mm -hmm. and your positive mm -hmm. reaction to all this right. and tell the world about it. Right, right. Mm -hmm. We so, truly laughed our way through this cancer. Right, Joy? Most days. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because when we were together, you know, that was it. Of course, I was ill for like a week after chemo. The chemo.
but the second week she was better and that was the week that we were always out trying to do try to stay to the norm you know doing the normal things that we do um, which is another one of my messages to the women right stay true to who you are if you garden garden even if it's for five minutes because you don't feel well yeah you don't you know? feel that good you know anything that you love to do get out and do that because yes. or, or try to mm -hmm. because you don't feel like yourself no you don't and, look and like you don't yourself. know that until it happens right. to you right so keep a routine right absolutely but you stay love. true to who you are right mm -hmm. and the hair's grown back no this is a wig from Lucinda's but hair your hair is longer. Oh, my hair is longer. Yes. yes. I'm yep. wearing it a little shorter these days. Mm -hmm. Joyce is long, of course. Yeah. And the shorter hair, is that a new you? I think so. Is that okay? It's fine with me. It, it's not with my boys. <laughs> they want me to grow it long. What you do know. you think? What, do you, what, do you, what are your thoughts on it? On the short hair? Yeah. Do you want me to grow it long? You don't want to. It said it takes too long. You are the same person. You're what? just you're talking to yourself, basically. Oh, because I was going to say, I don't care what you think. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, it's a, it's a new me. It is. Thank you for positive attitudes. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for sharing your story. Thank and you I for having us. And I can't wait to see what you guys do next. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's a wild ride. Thanks. <laughs> okay. When we won this end Who is this girl I spend all night kissing And if one right here Then who else is missing Got a little sidetracked If I'm in wish And I find the keys to the door But it's also a metaphor Things keep locked In the grocery store of the mind Just to save time I'll Skip right ahead To the last ride The harder we look The less we can see Don't you know You know You know That you need me